What's up, everybody? This is Bradley Sutton from Helium 10. I know I usually have a smile on my face, but today my smile is especially big because I'm so excited about these new updates to our reverse ASIN lookup tool, Cerebro. I've been waiting for these updates and I'm so excited that it's here. It's using a, a lot of a technique that I used to use and it used to take me an hour to have to do because I would open up different tabs. I would have to tabulate things in Excel, but now with just a few clicks, I can do all of that within minutes. How does it work? Let me get right into it. Let's say I have a product. I made a collagen peptides product. I'm semi new in the game. I only have a few reviews and I really want to up my game and see what the main guys in my uh, niche are doing. So for example, I have here, I found a product that only has four reviews. It's got about a 16,000 BSR. So, you know, that maybe it's selling about 10, 10 a day and I want to get to the next level and find out what I have to do. So this is how you find out how to do that. I'm going to copy this ASIN and I'm going to put it right here in Cerebro. Now notice this is a new field right here, competing ASINs. So let's go. And this right here is the search for collagen peptides, the top creme de la creme here. So let's go ahead and check out using X-ray. And I want to see products that look similar to mine that are my direct competitors, you know, the ones I really want to look up to. Now, when I say similar to mine, like I'm sure there's going to be something that doesn't look like a canister. As you saw that product, that's quote unquote, mine is a canister with powder. But let me see here. Okay. For example, this guy is on page one and he's killing it, but I don't want to compare myself to him because these are packets. It looks like the kind that you tear open and, and pour into a, a drink. Now mine is completely different than that. So I don't want to compare myself to him. I want to find products that look like my packaging that are really similar. So, but who are killing it. Look at this guy. He's selling 65,000 units a month. I'm definitely going to compare myself to him. So I'm going to copy him paste it here, press the space bar, watch what happens. It puts it separately. Let's see who else looks like mine. This kind of looks like mine. Um, and he's selling 36,000 products or units a month. I'm going to go ahead and paste that there. Uh, let me just pull up a couple more here. Somebody who's killing it. Uh, here we go. Multi collagen. He's selling 15,000 a month. Let me paste him here and let's do one more. Uh, where was that? Here we go. Selling 15,000 units a month. Uh, here's one selling 6,000. Here, perfect. This guy's selling 6,000. Let's see what he's doing. All right. So now I'm, whoops, I need, forgot to press space bar. There we go. I'm going to hit reverse search. I have searched some of these ASINs before, but I want to do a brand new search right here. So it's going out and it's finding all of the keywords that I, quote unquote, I am ranking for, if this was me, and what these other guys are ranking for on Amazon. And the total list of keywords is, drum roll please, we've got 3,964 keywords. That's way too many keywords. So how do I use this information? What I want to do is I, I say I'm not on page one probably on my main keywords, but what are the main keywords for my brand? Where are these guys getting their 60,000, 30,000, 15,000 sales? Well, as you know, it's probably from the results where they're ranked towards the top of page one. So what I want to do is I want to see their competitor rank average is between, let's say, uh, one and uh, 15, which is page one. Competitor rank average. What does that mean? Well, that means all four of these, if you take let's say powder collagen, and you take their rank on this one, 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 that the average rank is all of them are on page one, somewhere between one and 15. Like maybe one guy's number one, one guy's 25, one guy's 13, whatever it is, the average is on page one. And now the reason why I'm looking for this is because if I see that four of my top uh, competitors are all ranking on page one, for a certain keyword, well, guess what? That's probably a keyword that I really need to target to get on page one because they're probably getting a lot of their sales from there. So I'm gonna do a search or a competitor rank average between one and 15, and I want at least, actually, I want all four of them. I want all four of them to be ranked. So I'm gonna put a minimum of four ranking competitors. I could have put one, I could have put two. If I would have put two, that would mean that would mean that I'm looking for if only two of these guys are ranked on there, and maybe the other two guys aren't even ranked. But on this one, I really want to find the most relevant. So I'm just gonna put put all four ranking competitors. Okay, um, I kind of want to do exact phrase at least 500 words per month, 
And let's see, that's about it for right now. Let's go ahead and see what this gives me. I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna take it down 29 keywords, guys. Check this out. All right, so powder collagen, or actually let me uh, uh, sort by exact search phrase. All right, collagen powder. This is a the, probably the top keyword in this niche because it has 139,000 exact searches per month. And their competitor rank average is 4.5, all right? And so let me see if I mouse over there. It says average rank of competitor ASINs. ASINs that did not rank in this are ignored in the calculation. Well, as I said, I put four competitors. So that means I know that these four guys, if you average all of their ranks, they're at 4.5. And what am I uh, ranked at? This is me, position rank. So that's me. This is my product here. I'm ranked 235. So here we go. That That's glaring, uh, a big glaring issue. Number one is that the number one key keyword in this niche, the top guys are all on the top half of page one. But me, I'm at 235. All right. And relative rank. What does that mean? Relative rank means, let me read it here. It says rank of the main ASIN relative to its competitors. For example, if two competitors are ranked better than the main ASIN, the relative rank will be three. So my relative rank is five. And that, oh, here we go. You can mouse over right here. So this right here shows that uh, one of these ASINs is ranked number one. One of these ASINs is ranked number four. The other one is ranked number five. One is ranked number eight, and me, I'm ranked all the way at 235. So that's why I my relative rank is number five because I'm last place in this group of five ASINs. This is so cool, guys. I, I cannot contain my excitement about this, all right? Let's look at another one here. Um, here's one that I'm actually ranking for. So collagen peptides powder, all right? The competitor performance score, or no, I'm sorry, the ranking competitors for the competitor rank average is 7.8, all right? So between these four guys, they're ranked 7.8, but look at me, I'm ranked number four on page one. So that means my relative rank is four. So if you look here, one ASIN is ranked number one, one guy is number two, and there's me, I'm ranked number four. If this was my product, I'm ranked number four, and I'm actually ahead of two different guys. So that's pretty cool. That means that, hey, on this keyword, I'm actually on the right track, okay? Um, here's a word that skinny fit collagen powder. Here, here's a, a, a good opportunity. This uh, is a word that four people, that all four of these guys are ranking for, but look at me. I'm not even ranked, NR. That means I might not even be indexed for it or whatever it is, I'm not even in the top 300 listings. So this would prompt me to say, uh-oh, these guys are all ranked on page one, so they're probably getting sales, and I'm not even anywhere on the radar for this keyword. I need to check what's going on. Um, here's, let's check out some other ones here. Collagen protein, all right? Everybody in my niche who's killing it is average a rank of 6.8 on page one. Me, I'm at 260. Am I getting any sales from collagen protein being on uh, 260 position? No. I, I mean, how many of you guys are gonna sit there and actually go through one, two, three, four, like 10 pages before you get to a product and say, oh, look at this product, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Hardly anybody's gonna do that. I'm getting zero orders. These guys are getting almost all the orders probably that come from these uh, 3,800 searches per month. Guys, this is so incredible, oh my goodness. Um, this shows how many competing products, as you know, uh, how many, again, ranking competitors. I could have picked words where only maybe three people come up. Let me just try that. I guarantee this number of 29 will go up. Let's see here. There you have it, uh, 54 keywords where at least three of the competitors are ranking between one and 15. And we can see some of these scores. Here's uh, the average is three. That's pretty amazing. Um, here's, an, here's another one. Uh, Dr. Axe multi-collagen protein, that's kind of strange. So there might, you know, one thing that we've noticed is that uh, you don't have to have a word in your listing to be, to, to rank for it. And Dr. Axe, that's obviously a uh, brand name, but what these people are doing, they might be sending PPC to it and they're ranking for that. So you know what that might tell you? You can't go and put Dr. Axe in your listing, but who knows? Maybe you should send some PPC to Dr. Axe multi-collagen protein. And if Amazon thinks that you're relevant, they'll have you show up in the results for it. So, um, 
so much cool information here. Um, we have the CPR number still as usual. So like, let's say from this information, you find your number one keyword that you actually want to do a giveaway on. Well, you're going to have that information right here under CPR. You can also see how many total competing products there are. Like a collagen powder, there's only a 528 products that come out in the listings. But look at that exact search volume. So that's definitely a word that you'd want to you'd want to target. So guys, there are so much, so many new features right here in Cerebro. Uh, we have word count, uh, as you know. We have the. You can also search by the broad vol, uh, search volume. We can exclude or include words in our phrases. Like for example, I just told you that, uh, you know, or for example, Vital Proteins is a brand name. So I don't want anything with Vital Proteins and I'll do apply. That thing is gonna disappear right there. Take it down to 53 as you can see. But more than ever now with Cerebro, you can really laser focus your keyword and product research to get the most relevant keywords to your listing. So guys, I want to hear from you uh, on Facebook. We have our Ask Me Anythings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So please join up there and let us know, let Matt and I know how you're using this new feature by Cerebro. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you have as much fun test driving this new tool as I just did. Thanks a lot guys.